Hi, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair. Uh, this is a video for a customer who returned a Visio E422 via EEPROM saying that it doesn't work. We asked them to mark it and uh, I have to apologize to them for the delay in getting back. eBay kept prompting us to issue a refund and that the EEPROM was delivered, but we couldn't find it anywhere. And it turned out today when we went on to test another one that we had received it and somebody has placed it in the socket of the TV probably to make such a video and that someone could have been me, which is why I need to uh, apologize and could have been somebody else. But by all reasons, we had probably disposed of the letter that this was returning to. The EEPROM was placed and we only found it today uh, by chance when... Uh, searching around. Uh, don't be confused by the uh, partially distorted image on that. Uh, I've explained it in many other videos that we have. Uh, there are several different visual models which use different icons and uh, the main board that we use for testing is uh, actually from M421 VT uh, and not E422 VA. <clears throat> which is almost the same board, but it does have those slight differences in appearance uh, You know with a, with a proper board that would have been fine. So after I saw it was functioning fine Of course, I need to show the EEPROM itself I switched it off and I'm going to take it out of the socket Powering on now uh, Taking this out So we only found this today by mistake and we'll try to focus on it because I believe I do have some markings on it whatever they are I don't I cannot make up what this is N5 or or something but you can see it's being soldered you can see the legs are not very clean uh, three dots, I don't know what they are on the left, then something like the letter N and something like the digit 5 and on the right side this looks like a 9 whatever it is, uh, but this is the prom that powers on the TV and it works just fine, you can also see it was used, I cannot sell that as a new EEPROM uh, or somebody nice enough may notice that it's not so this was returned as, as not functional, uh, if the buyer has any questions as to what it needs to do more than that uh, feel free to get back to us we will treat this as a return as a change of mind even though honestly it should we shouldn't be allowing any return at all that's not the first time it's not the last time it happens people will try to have it their way because the system allows them this is flat out simply abusing the system because you don't know any better that what you're buying <coughs> is functional and you don't know how to test even though we do tell you put it on a socket get a good working board that's what you know that's the only reliable way uh, but of course it's easy to say we bought a lot from you we have another case today we bought a lot from you um and this one definitely doesn't work I and mean, we do know that definitely it does work because we test them that way and that's why we put this video thank you